Hello and welcome citizens and soldiers of Inter Nation, your home for everything technology related, and your lens to peek into the digital future. Apple's new home app in iOS 16 is better but still half-baked. Apple's home app has always felt like an afterthought, probably because it was. Apple didn't want to make an app to control its home kit home automation software framework. It didn't release one until two years after home kit launched. Even when the home app finally arrived with iOS 10 in 2016, it rarely saw any significant updates, and progress felt painfully slow. But with iOS 16 arriving this fall, the app is getting a ground-up redesign. It feels like Apple is finally taking its little smart home project seriously. While on the surface, the redesign is mainly aesthetic, pretty icons, redesign buttons, new wallpaper, it's Apple aesthetic. This is to say, it's a software design that looks good and works well, that's not something that could be said about the old home app. Enjoying twins separated with the help of virtual reality. Brazilian twins who were joined at the head have been successfully separated with the help of virtual reality. Three-year-olds Bernardo and Arthur Lima underwent surgeries in Rio de Janeiro, with direction from Great Ormond Street Hospital in London. The team spent months practicing techniques using virtual reality projections of the twins, based on CT and MRI scans. It was described by surgeon Noral Ovasa Giuliani as space-age stuff. It was one of the most complex separation processes ever completed, according to the charity which funded it, Gemini Untwine, which Mr. Giuliani founded in 2018. He said that, for the first time, surgeons in separate countries wore headsets and operated in the same virtual reality room together. Elon Musk's SpaceX company has been launching thousands of satellites into orbit. Many people say they've seen them in the skies. They're part of the Starlink project, which aims to provide high-speed internet services from space, to remote areas on Earth. Starlink provides internet services via a huge network of satellites. It is aimed at people who live in remote areas and cannot get high-speed internet. There are people in the UK in that category, but more across the world, in places like Africa, says Dr. Lucinda King, Space Projects Manager at the University of Portsmouth. Starlink's satellites have been put in low-level orbit around the Earth to make connection speeds between the satellites and the ground as fast as possible. Judge rules Visa can be sued in an abuse claim. An abuse survivor can sue Visa over videos of her posted to Pornhub, a U.S. court has ruled. Serena Flights was 13 in 2014 when, it is alleged, a boyfriend pressured her into making an explicit video that he posted to Pornhub. Ms. Flights alleges that Visa, by processing revenue from ads, conspired with Pornhub's parent firm MindGeek to make money from videos of her abuse. Visa had sought to be removed from the case. Ms. Flight's story has been featured in the New York Times article, The Children of Pornhub, an article that prompted MindGeek to delete millions of videos and make significant changes to its policies and practice. Thanks for watching citizens. Like, share and subscribe to stay in the loop and help spread the good news of the bright future that lies over the horizon as technology grows to improve our lives and helps push the world towards fulfilling the true promise of its beauty. Until next time soldiers, learn, love, wait, technology and computer science. Peace.